What Bruce Lee Wanted You to Know, Part 1 Ever since I was a child, I've had this instinctive urge for expansion and growth. To me, the function and duty of a quality human being is the sincere and honest development of one's potential. Bruce Lee When Bruce Lee was a young teenager in Hong Kong, his teacher, Yip Man, advised him to conserve his energy by going with nature rather than against it. Bruce was extremely aggressive and resisted this advice. Nevertheless, Yip Man reminded Bruce of the following. Never assert yourself against nature. Never be in frontal opposition to any problem, but control it by swinging with it. However, Bruce continued to disregard this instruction. Finally, his teacher said, don't practice this week. Go home and think about what I've said. At age 13, this frustrated Bruce because martial arts was his passion. He couldn't imagine a week without working with his teacher on what he loved most. Why did he not understand what his teacher was saying? Why was this so difficult for him to comprehend and embrace? One day during his week away, he went into the Hong Kong harbor in a small boat. In a fit of anger, Bruce punched the water with full fury several times. Then he had an epiphany, which later he wrote down. Had not this water just illustrated to me the principle of gung fu. I struck it, but it did not suffer hurt. Again, I struck it with all my might, yet it was not wounded. I then tried to grasp a handful of it, but this proved impossible. This water, the softest substance in the world, which could be contained in the smallest jar, only seemed weak. In reality, it could penetrate the hardest substances in the world. That was it. I wanted to be like the nature of water. One basic property of water is that it is unstoppable. Water is in motion and if blocked temporarily, is ready to flow the second the containment is released. Even water that seems still and appears not to be moving is being refilled with springs underneath or replenished with snow or rain above. Water that isn't replenished gets stale and stagnant, eventually withering up to nothing. Bruce Lee stated, Like flowing water, life is perpetual movement. Living, active water is in motion. It never sits idle. Examples of this that Bruce mentioned are waves in the ocean or flowing rivers. Another aspect of water is its pliability. Bruce stated, When man is living, he is soft and pliable. When he is dead, he becomes rigid. Pliability is life, rigidity is death, whether we are speaking of the body, the mind, or the spirit. Be pliable. Toss a rock into a lake, and the lake adapts to make space for the rock. When Bruce attempted to grasp water with his hands, it ran through his fingers. When he punched the water with his fists, it moved out of the way and did not suffer harm. The flexibility of water is one of its greatest strengths. When observing powerful storms, Bruce Lee commented, Notice that the stiffest tree is most easily cracked while the bamboo or willow survives by bending with the wind. When we embrace pliability, we can flow with the situation rather than resist it. Many view this as weakness, but it is truly a great strength when we not only understand the concept, but become pliable as a way of being. When we are present and aware, we can respond, not with preconceived notions of how it should be, but with flexible responses to how it is. Bruce Lee noted, what is, is more important than what should be. Too many people are looking at what is from a position of thinking what should be. In athletics, a proper body stance allows a participant to move and flow according to the contest. Coaches stress the need for balance and alertness by not having the feet too close together or too far apart. Bruce stated, do not be tense, just be ready. Not thinking, but not dreaming. Not being set, but being flexible. It is being wholly and quietly alive, aware and alert, ready for whatever may come. In martial arts, Bruce Lee used his metaphor of water to emphasize this point. Water is always relaxed but ready. When the floodgates are open though, it instantly flows without hesitation and naturally responds to the environment. 
When we have a strong posture or stance, we are both calm and holding the perfect amount of tension to respond to any situation. Bruce Lee stated, Everything you do, if not in a relaxed state, will be done at a lesser level than you are proficient. Bruce recommended not being completely relaxed or maxed out with tension, but the right mixture or combination. In the Western world, we view yin-yang as two opposites. Bruce Lee viewed them as two parts of the same thing. One is not good and the other is bad, but the right mixture of these is essential. If we thought of these as a continuum, with one end being fully relaxed, almost falling asleep, and the other end being 100% tense, we would need to find the right mixture that optimizes us. When we do this, we will be alert, aware, and respond in the most suitable manner. Be like water making its way through cracks. Do not be assertive, but adjust to the object, and you shall find a way around or through it. If nothing within you stays rigid, outward things will disclose themselves. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, and it becomes the bottle. You put it into a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Bruce Lee Thanks for checking out this video. If you appreciated this, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and check out other videos we have. All the best to you.